Alright, uh, welcome to my first video here. Uh, my name is Jonathan Martin, if you don't know me. Um, and this channel uh, I want to create basically to help get the word out. It's going to be kind of like a, a video blog. Because um, there's so much confusion out there when it comes to you know health and fitness um, that we don't, we don't know what to believe anymore. I mean, you've got the media throwing all kinds of uh, messages at you about what you're supposed to eat, what you're not supposed to eat. Um, there's hundreds of thousands of books you know, talking about diets and exercise routines, and we're basically just, you know, puppets being told what to do and when to do it. Um, and you would think, though, with, with all this, you know, readily available information about health, that uh, we as a society would be healthier. We'd be in tip-top shape. We'd be living longer. Um, but that's simply not the case. You know, we got diseases like obesity and, and cancer and heart disease that keep going up and up and up every single year. I mean, this stuff is killing us. Uh, raise your hand if you know, uh, you know, one or two people who are, you know, between the age of 55 and 65 who don't have some sort of chronic condition or, or aren't taking any uh, prescription medication. I can't think of one, and I know a lot of old people. That's simply not right. Uh, also, explain to me why, you know, type 2 diabetes is, is starting to creep its way into our elementary schools. There's something really messed up about that. Uh, and you got all these people who, you know, are, are working out four, five, six, seven days a week sometimes and reducing their calories and they're eating less and they they still can't you know burn the fat they can't get rid of the weight um, the, you know that's gotta be frustrating the whole situation is frustrating so I mean that's kinda why I wanna start this this video blog here is, is to, to help people out with that kinda stuff cause there's so much misleading information out there and you gotta like discern between you know the good studies and the bad studies and what's correct and what's not correct people have the right to know the truth so um, so I don't keep blabbing here. We're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, today we're going to keep it real simple. This is my first, you know, video. I don't even know what I'm doing here. So we're just going to talk about muscle. A couple of points on muscle. Um, you've probably heard, uh, you know, that muscle weighs more than fat. Um, you know, if you listen to yourself say that, uh, it'll kind of make sense in your head. Okay, yeah, muscle, a pound of muscle and a pound of fat. Well, they're both a pound, so they weigh the same. Uh, you can pretty much figure that out. Um, however, you know, a pound of muscle is denser than a pound of fat. So it takes up less space. Check this out. Here's the here's the, the pound of fat. It's about this big, okay? There's your pound of muscle. So it's smaller. Weighs the same, but it takes up less space because it's denser. So let's say you're trying to work out your arm here and you, you put on a pound of muscle and you lose a pound of fat. Is your arm gonna get bigger or is it gonna get smaller? It's going to get smaller because the muscle is denser, it takes up less space. And that's why people who you know are working out, doing their resistance training, you know they'll lose they'll lose inches on their body, but they won't lose the actual weight on the scale. So uh, keep that resistance training going. Okay, the muscle is much better than fat. Trust me. Um, you know, also I want to talk about muscle and uh, metabolism because you know they say muscle you know increases your metabolism. It's true. Um, you know, you've got different studies showing different things about how many calories, you know, a pound of muscle actually burns in a day. Um, you know, it was widely accepted for a long time that, you know, a pound of muscle burns between 30 and 50 calories at rest. Um, the studies that show that they're, that they're more, that they only burn about six calories a day are actually more conclusive. Um, but besides that, the studies show that they both show that, you know, that's what the muscle burns at rest. So let's say you start getting active. Well, you can crank that number up high then because we're talking a muscle at rest burns six calories. Well, muscle at, that's being active all day is burning a whole lot more than that. Also, when you start being active, your body knows that what's going on, especially if you do it, you know, routinely and you're, you're working out three, four times a week or whatever. At the same time, all the time, your body starts to, you know, create a habit and, you know, it prepares for exercise and it repairs after exercise. And this whole prepare and repair, um, you know, cycle uh, boosts up your metabolism more and your bas basal metabolic rate, which is the most important thing to get up. The amount of calories that you're going to burn throughout the day is going to go up. Can you put an exact number on it? Not really, not right now, not unless you get really technical with yourself and you do all the arithmetic according to your body and your statistics. Um, you can kind of figure it out. But for the most part, when it comes to metabolism, muscle is your best friend. So stick with that. Uh, lastly, uh, muscle, you know, can't be built. 
Um, it can't be built in one place and not another. You can't spot train, uh, as a lot of people will call it. Um, you know, if you want to get your chest bigger, so you're doing all these chest exercises, um, but you don't really want to touch the shoulders, um, so you don't do any shoulder exercises. Well, you can work on your chest, you know, all day, every day for months, and nothing's going to happen to it. Your body won't create an imbalance. Same thing with, you know, your right arm and your left arm. You can't get one big and leave the other one small. Uh, same thing with, you know, your abs and your back and your upper body and your lower body. Your body won't create that, that, that imbalance. If you want to build your body, uh, work the whole body. Not to mention when you work full body like that, it burns more calories, burns more fat, builds more muscle tissue. It all, it's all a great cycle. Um, that tip actually comes straight from uh, the king of bodybuilding, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So you can take that for what it's worth. But that's all I, really, I, all I got today. Um, I really hope to get more of these out in the future here. Um, I got a lot I want to talk about. I hope not to get too scientific with you guys. Um, but if you have any questions about what you know, you what you should be doing, what you should be eating, your own exercise program, some of the problems you've been dealing with, if you just want to know like if something's true or if it's not true, send me an email and I'll address it. Uh, contact me at uh, jmartin at tnfitnesslink.com or if you know my personal one, you can send it to that one as well. Um, so contact me with those questions. I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. Um, until then, though, uh, we'll get more of these out soon. Have a great day. We'll see you.